Hey, what's up, fellow creators? It's BC here from A7 Video, and I hope that by the end of this video, I will have been able to help you with any audio and video syncing issues that you may be having with the Hopog HD PVR 2 for your gaming footage. So if you're like me, you probably have been using this device uh, to capture your gaming footage, whether it be from the 360, your Wii, your Wii U, or uh, maybe even your PS3. I used it for all of the above, except I have a Wii U where I play Wii games. And uh, I had a lot of syncing issues uh, in the last few months, probably in the last two or three months since I installed the new uh, driver for the Hopog device. And it's really strange because my syncing issues never seem to have any real rhyme or reason, except for when I was playing Wii games on my Wii U. It was guaranteed that if I was playing Xenoblade Chronicles, a done deal, that audio was going to be 0.25 seconds off from the video every time I recorded. When I recorded Wii U footage, uh, specifically Zelda Wind Waker, which some of you may be familiar with that series if you are a fan of this channel, uh, it, would, it was hit or miss. I eventually got it to work properly um, and stopped not syncing. But there would be one or two times where it would crop up there on the Wii U and also on the 360. And there was no rhyme or reason to the 360 footage because I'd play Madden one week for my Madden NFL Sunday video. It'd be fine. I'd play Madden another week and the sound would be off. And there didn't seem to be any real, why is it doing this? And if you go out there on the Internet and try to research this problem, you're going to come to the same conclusion that there is no general consensus that says your problem is this and where we're running into the syncing issues is not in the playback it's in the video editing so when I dump it into uh, Sony Vegas or if I dump it into which I tended to have less problems with that software uh, and I'll get into why some of the theories behind why that is in a second uh, but I've had the problems uh, chronically in Adobe Premiere which is my software of choice I use that in my day job and for what I do here on this YouTube channel so it's just, it's, it's very weird that there's no definitive answer for, yo, why is my capture device off with sound and audio when I dump this into Premiere, but when I play it back in VLC or play it back in Windows Media, it's fine. Well, one of the theories out there is that Adobe Premiere specifically hates dealing with MP4s. Uh, and I can tell you for a fact, it absolutely hates dealing with variable bit rates. Never uh, and this really doesn't apply to capture devices because I don't even know that you really control that with some of these. Um, never record in variable bit rate, ever. There's never a reason to do it. Keep it in constant. Uh, but even in constant bit rate, I still had problems. So that theory would seem to, there may be some plausibility to that, but not so much when you're capturing game footage. Uh, some people kind of surmised that the problem was the new drivers that came out uh, about a little over a year ago is when the most recent drivers dropped, I want to say. And uh, interestingly for me, I didn't have problems recording until I got those new drivers, which is weird. But I also reverted back to the old drivers and still had the same problem. So one of the other plausible solutions for you uh, is to go back and roll back your drivers to an older set of drivers for your Hopog. Again, I use the HD PVR2, or I was using the HD PVR2 before I got to my solution, which is the kind of the last ditch effort that I hope you won't have to go through, but I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, one of the other solutions that a lot of people had success with was to switch from, so when you buy one of these, it actually comes with a software called ArcSoft Showbiz. It's buggy, it's clunky, it crashes, it's an all around pain in the behind and uh, frankly there were times where I recorded with that where when I would dump it into my video editing software not only would I have syncing issues but the sound wouldn't show up at all again because I was recording an mp4 and apparently Adobe has a vendetta against the makers of the mp4 codec I don't know what that is I've even heard people go as far as to say Adobe is made for high dollar raw footage and when anytime you try to put something that's been compressed in a codec Adobe struggles with it whether or not that's true yeah I mean that's what the people at Adobe were saying I assume not Adobe employees but you know what I would consider to be a lot more skilled users with the software than I am uh, but that really doesn't get to the heart of trying to fix your problem so again rolling back your drivers is one plausible solution I've seen that work for a handful of people on the internet the other solution is to download Hophog software. I'll have a link to that where you can get the most up-to-date drivers 
uh, and where you can also download Hawpog's capture software, which is all around better than the ArcSoft Showbiz software. I recommend using that if you're going to stick with the Hawpog. Uh, and for a lot of people that I saw with this problem, that completely 100% fixed their problem. Unfortunately for me, it did not. So my solution was to go out, uh, and I'm not advertising it necessarily, I'm just letting you know what I did. I went out and purchased the Elgato Game Capture HD. And I can tell you right now, I've been using this for about three weeks. I was using the, uh, the Hop Hog for a little over a year. I can tell you straight up right now that I prefer the Elgato in every way over the Hop Hog. It's more portable, does not require a power source, you know, it doesn't mess up my computer's access to my television where I plug in at. The software is a lot more intuitive. It's not prone to crashing. It also allows me to mix my audio from my microphone where I'm recording my voice on my condenser microphone that I run through a preamp. It can detect the preamp. I can adjust the volume settings there. I can adjust the volume of the game, the in-game footage that's being recorded and mix it such that my voice is always on top, but that you can still get enough of that game sound to get the ambiance and understand what's going in the game. Uh, it even has a feature where you can set it to automatically drop game volume when you start talking. So if you wanted to have the game volume at its normal levels and it would just just basically tail off when you begin to talk, I never really liked that feature because it's jarring to me. I prefer to just do a very solid mix where you can hear me, you can hear the game, but there's still that prevalent. You're not struggling to hear what I'm saying. you know, And you're also not struggling to hear the game when I'm being quiet like during a cutscene. So... Those are really the three things that I've seen. Oh, and my, the other solution that I was using when I was still using the Hop Hog was to just edit it manually. I knew that every time when I recorded Xenoblade Chronicles, for example, a Wii game on my Wii U, that audio was no nonsense going to be off by 0.25 seconds every single time. So I would just go in and edit that manually. It's not very hard to do that. It's tedious. It adds a step. It's something that I wish I didn't have to deal with when I'm trying to get my audio levels right, when I'm trying to get my contrast levels right, um, my brightness. You know, if I'm playing a game that's particularly dark, I'd rather focus on making the video as presentable as possible and not have to make, you know, when I'd run around in Xenoblade and I would jump, you would see the jump and then 0.25 seconds later, you'd hear, yeah. And so that was really annoying, but those were the solutions. So let me run them down for you again. You can edit it manually in your recordings, in your editing software of choice. You can download new drivers if you're still using the old ones. You can revert to old drivers if the new ones are what broke you. Uh, you can download the Hawpog capture software, which again, I think is way better than ArcSoft Showbiz in every way. Or again, you can be like me and just say, screw all of that. And I'm going to go to Best Buy and get a box that I'm going to drop on the floor while I'm recording. <laughs> but I'm going to go get an Elgato HD capture card, which is going to work at least for the three weeks I've been using it. It's worked every time. It's synced audio perfectly. It's captured my voice perfectly. It hasn't crashed. It hasn't dumped footage. It hasn't dumped audio. It's worked. It just, and it's more portable. It doesn't require a power source. It powers through the USB that plugs into my PC. Um, again, not advertising it, not trying to sell it to you. Just want you to be aware of what I did to solve the problem. And hopefully one of these solutions, well, I can almost guarantee you the, the Elgato solution will work, but try the other ones first. You spent a lot of money to get this. If you're like me, you bought it when it was new. I think I spent like 180 on it. It's cheaper now, but that's a lot of money to spend on something to, for someone to just tell you, well, just go buy another one. So try these other solutions. Again, I have links to them in the video description. Try those solutions. If those don't work, if you have a specific question, hit me up. You know me. If you comment, I will get back to you usually as soon as I see it. I'm always connected to all of my social media pretty much throughout the day. If you have a question, hit me up in the comments. You can email me. You can send it to Twitter. You can private message me. I don't care. If you got a question, hit me up. I'd love to be able to help you. It's that's why I make these videos in the first place, man, is hopefully someone finds them helpful or entertaining when I'm doing the game videos. But anyway, like I said, let's try to work this out together before you rush out and buy a new card. Let's see if we can get you through some of these other plausible solutions to get you where you need. Or if you're patient, which I was not, I can show you how to do it manually <laughs> the, the way I was doing it before. I just said, screw it all and went and got a new device. Anyway, once again, it's BC from A7 Video. Hope you found this helpful. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Most importantly, thank you for leaving us commentary. Engage with me if you need help. By all means, get at me. Till next time, friends, it's me signing off. And I'm going to tell all of you peace and Godspeed. Alloy 7.